Honey, the solar oven is here. The solar oven is here. My beautiful better half said recently, like yesterday, oh, Honey, that's your cue. Like yesterday. If we had a solar oven, we wouldn't have to heat the kitchen in the summer. And it's good for the environment. And you know you like fresh bread. Yes, that's what she said. I uh, couldn't argue, so I got online and watched some YouTubes, read some reviews, compared prices on Amazon, ultimately decided that as we get an abundant amount of sun here in sunny SoCal, that we didn't need the glass tube ones. They looked a little fragile and possibly problematic to store, meaning you can't just chuck it in the drawer with your other pots and pans. We both really liked Roger Haynes' video, and the idea of supporting a local business and his price all seemed very fair. We went to his website and chose to purchase directly, and to our delight, it arrived in less than 24 hours. At present, Amazon is taking as long as a week to deliver, even here in Los Angeles. Assembly was a no-brainer. Snap the red buttons for normal sun and the blue for lower sun angles. It would be helpful if the plastic tube was pre-marked so you wouldn't have to fiddle with readjusting the diameter of the circle. Uh, disclaimer. We have never heard of Roger Haynes prior to yesterday and have no affiliation with him. We paid full price on his website. We absolutely love the idea of not heating up our kitchen and burning fossil fuels in hot days when there's such an abundant amount of hot energy outside. Sherry had already made dough earlier in the day in anticipation of the solar cooker's maiden voyage. Neither of us have any experience with solar cookers other than watching videos. This is our first solar oven either of us have ever touched. We had decided to try bread first because if this could brown bread, it can easily cook veggies. I'm not 100% sold on the accuracy of my Harbor Freight laser thermometer. So I abandoned the laser thermometer and opted for the probe. We're probably only measuring the inside the pot air temperature, which is certainly less than the black exterior of the pot, and ultimately the temperature of the different parts aren't that important. We just want to know if this thing is going to cook. The bread rose beautifully and started browning. Sherry noted that the bread was releasing from the pot, so she said it might be done. Making bread is often hit and miss as to the texture, but for some reason, this is the lightest, fluffiest bread we have ever made and tasted nothing short of fantastic. Thank you, Roger Haynes. We hope you make a lot of bread. Without question, we're going to use this oven a lot. We emphatically encourage everyone to get a solar oven. It can be a lot of fun to reduce your carbon footprint. When everyone does a little, it changes culture. And when culture improves, we change the world. Okay. Winner? Solar ovens are winner. And we didn't make our kitchen hot. Beautiful. You're beautiful.